Hey guys, as always, this is for entertainment purposes only. Take what you need from it and leave the rest. I've been laughing because despite the fact that I've been telling people and videoing, we seem to have guests showing up, such as the life of working from home, and I told you in the beginning I wasn't going to edit these. Oh well, guests in our videos. So as I talked about in the last video, I promised myself that I would socialize more. In Kawita, the place that I was staying in, I ended up becoming friends with two of the guys staying in the same cabinas. You know, every day we talked, said hi on the way back from the grocery store or whatever. Um, but as time went by, I decided to go out with the two of them for beers and let off some steam. Honestly, they were great guys, very different from each other, but the three of us had a lot of fun together. When we went out, we had great conversations. You know, the kind of conversations that are rare, like deep conversations. When you skip all the bullshit and just get into conversations that actually mean something, those were the types of conversations we were having. We started talking about childhoods, the experiences that made us who we are today, and of course, relationships and their dynamics. Their candor, openness, and vulnerability were so appreciated. And it was so refreshing to find other people who weren't afraid to show their proverbial underbellies. One of those conversations over beers without breaking confidentiality led me to very directly telling them that as long as they were transparent about they want what they wanted and needed up front in a relationship, then if their partner got frustrated with them, they were living their truth and how it manifested, then it was on their partner. I was direct in saying that everyone was an adult and as long as you were transparent about what you wanted and, and needed and had expectations for the relationship and didn't lie to the other person in the beginning, then anything that happened, as long as it was consistent with that, that was on the other person. They could decide exactly what they wanted. And the funny thing is, as soon as that left my mouth, I had a big tower moment myself and it immediately flashed in my head that that was exactly what Hadi had done and to the best of my knowledge and I just wasn't honoring it. I realized in all this time I just failed to plainly understand simply that my fairy tale wasn't his, point blank, period. I just made it super complicated. I layered on my own expectations and as I analyzed it completely with my logical brain instead of my emotional brain taking my emotions out of it he gave me exactly what he promised no strings attached and I realized it didn't matter at all how I thought that his feelings had changed or what I was reading or what was coming out of his mouth because it confused me as it seemed to directly conflict with what he told me in the beginning the reality is bottom line he was crystal clear about what he wanted in the beginning like I was. And if someone tells you something, believe them. And just because my feelings had changed didn't mean that he had to come on that journey with me. It didn't matter how much my feelings had evolved. Until he signed up for that change, he had been transparent from the beginning. And at the end of the day, I made my own fairy tale up. So until next time, thanks for being with me. Take care.